Yo, what's up? Bob here. Thought I'd come on with a little vinyl finds video for you guys today. See, I've been out on the road, went up to Indy, went to see Herbie Hancock, more on that later, and I hit all of my favorite record stores in the Indianapolis area. In particular, Indy CD and Vinyl and Luna Records, both in the Broad Ripple area, right? I was there to see the show, so I didn't get a lot of records, but I did pick up a few cool titles that I'd like to share with you now. First thing I found was this Barney Kessel record. This is Easy Like, Contemporary C3511. As you can see, it is a demonstration copy as noted by two stamps on the cover and one on the label. Beautiful jazz guitar record. See this guitar he's got here now? Bruce Foreman owns that guitar now. Excellent jazz guitar player in his own right. Excellent sounding record. Really beautiful sounding jazz guitar. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. It was a no brainer, so I snatched it right away. Hanging up on the wall at Luna was this beautiful specimen. Duke Pearson's Sweet Honeybee. If you've been following the evolution of the Tone Poet and Blue Note Classic series records and checking out all the Joe Harley, you know, interviews and information, you probably heard him say that the tapes for this record are damaged or totally non-existent. Point is, there's not going to be a all analog cut of this record by Mr. Kevin Gray. So, if you can find a clean original, I would definitely suggest that you do that. Duke Pearson on piano, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, Joe Henderson on tenor, James Spalding on alto, Mickey Roker on drums, Ron Carter on bass. This is an excellent date. I would definitely suggest if you see a copy that's clean, get it. This one is in the shrink. It is a stereo near mint near me and it's just absolutely beautiful happy to have it in my collection i paid up for this i think i paid uh, about uh, 70 bucks for this so 70 to 100 dollars maybe is i think a fair price if it's very very clean it was down at indie cd and vinyl and i was already in a piano vibe i guess going to see herbie just bought that duke pearson record i saw this hanging and I thought, ah, yes, 30 bucks. First original pressing on Blue Note. Time for Tyner, McCoy Tyner. Yep, there's the label there. Excellent record. McCoy absolutely shredding on this. He's playing all these beautiful runs and then hitting these big chords and it just opens the track up. Just fantastic stuff. Personnel on the record. Bobby Hutcherson is on vibes, low key. McCoy Tyner on piano. Herbert Lewis on bass, and Freddie Watts on drums. There is a tone poet of this, I believe. Probably sounds magnificent, but you know, if I can pick up a clean OG for cheap, I will do it, yes. Last but not least, I was in Indy to see Herbie, a very important location for Herbie in general. And I wanted to get something Herbie Hancock associated. It's not something he played on because I have most of his records something Herbie associated. And when I saw this record, it's something I've been looking for for a while. I was trying to find it in the wild, organically for a decent price. And when I saw this one for 30 bucks, I knew I had to have it. Written in black Sharpie on the outer sleeve, VG plus, VG plus, rare 1975, jazzy, funky, soul. The Headhunters record. Survival of the Fittest. Mm-hmm. Check out this cover. Dope. Herbie is producing on this. And the Headhunters are doing all the heavy lifting. Very funky record. Soulful, earthy sounding. Definitely have that typical Headhunter sound. But with a mix of kind of a almost later meters vibe. Uh, especially on the track God Made Me Funky. Man, this is a killer record. Almost sacred music around here. I 
absolutely love this record. Drums and percussion, unbelievable. The bass playing is solid as a rock and super funky. And of course, Benny Moppin. You got Bill Summers, Paul Jackson, Mike Clark on drums, and Blackbird McKnight, who shares the same birthday as me. That's right, April 17th, it's coming up. On guitar, yes. All right, Headhunters, Survival of the Fittest on Arista, that blue label. Very successful. Trip to Indy, loving it. I will put some um, footage from the Herbie Show. And until I see you again, that's right, folks. Bob out. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's gonna start off with like, it's stuff like that, you know. <laughs> okay. So, this is an overture. It's got little bits and pieces of uh, a lot of things that I did. Oh, hmm. This thing is blocking you, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can push this down a little bit. Yeah. Actually, I don't really, really need this. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're not going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's not because I'm going to, it's not because I remember what, what that's, what's on that paper. Now, I don't remember too many things these days. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to play that piece. So. Okay, we're going to start this off and then buzz through a lot of things. Then I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs>